Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I'd like to share with you with a straight talk on uh, internal stuff. The reason I am sharing this today is because in the uh, last few days, uh, many of our Wing Chun friends and traditional Chinese martial art friends have messaged me and chat with me on this uh, internal jing <clears throat> or the Tai Chi internal uh, those stuff. So today I'm going to share with you what is the truth. And uh, as usual, you can watch this video with a 1.7x speed because I need to speak slowly so i be able to tell you things uh, clearly. But when you watch, you can watch it with a 1.7x speed. Also, if you don't want to uh, face the reality, if you practice Tai Chi or internal or internal Wing Chun and so forth, if you don't want to face the reality, uh, please do not continue on to watch this YouTube. Because <clears throat> once you go through this video, you cross the line of no return and uh, everybody have their freedom to believe what they want to believe but over here I'm presenting what is the truth because many people like to know what is the truth so Many people today buy into something called uh, Nei Jing, internal Jing, internal martial arts. And some even thinking if they can develop such type of internal Jing, like uh, this Tai Chi grandmaster have it, that grandmaster have it, then they'll be able to fight. <clears throat> Is that true? And some will relate this uh, internal Tai Chi stuff or internal art stuff to Taoist, to spiritual, all kinds of stuff. Again, the question is that, is that true? Now, what I like to share with you is majority of what people preach today or believe today is all false. So, 100 years ago, like last time I shared with you, People like Kang Hao, who have went, went to school in overseas, who know what is uh, the situations of the fighting art of the world. Also, Ma Li Tang, <clears throat> who know what is internal art, what is the reality of Western uh, medical science and uh, Western martial arts. They all won reform 100 years ago. So at uh, around 1920, at that time, uh, the scholar is uh, proposing if Chinese want to reform their culture, 
they need to get into democratic and scientific. So that is the movement in 1920. Democratic and scientific. So you can speak freely on what it is and uh, be able to present things scientifically. Like today, we in America, we, we can say that. Right. So in 1930s, you know about Tang Hao, you know about Ma Li Tang, they want to just, they just want to uh, get rid of the mysterious mysticism, the, uh, the, the, the state's performing type of, uh, of, uh, of uh, martial art, so-called martial art, you know, like playing in the state type of a performance of the movie choreography. And also they want to get rid of those, oh, my style. Uh, this is according to this grandmaster, that grandmaster. They want it to base on science. It's not based on Hendrix say so. Hendrix grandmaster say so. Hendrix belief say so. Okay. So at that time, <coughs> we know you can take a snapshot here. At that time, you know the young Taiji people like the Chen Wei Ming is actually doing marketing publicity, uh, brought in the Taoists like Zhan San Feng to the Taiji, and then uh, have this all kind of mysticism, internal, so forth, so forth which is very different than the Chen Taiji. Chen Taiji is actually inherit 29 of the 32 momentum of General Qi Qi Guang. So all this today about the internal Jing and all this uh, spiritual stuff, Taoist stuff is come from that time. Okay, and uh, so at that time, Tang Hao, you know, he's a scholar. He just want to get to the bottom of it because what Tang Hao and uh, Ma Li Tang concern is the entire Chinese martial art will be wiped out if you continue to do this internal jing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so today I like to share with you on this internal jing stuff. What is the value of this internal jing stuff? What is the value of the what they call qigong? Or oh, this uh, mysterious Taoist uh, stuff. Let's get to the bottom of the line. Now, we know today most people is brainwashed by movie when it's talk about the Taiji Jing or internal Jing. It'll be like this. Okay, it'll be like this kind of stuff. Like a, a guy can bounce. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you, you there's the internal power, internal Jing. Look at that. A lot of people brainwashed by that with all this movie like Tai Chi San San Feng. And the Tai Chi San San Feng actually is following this Chen Wei Ming's marketing. Okay. And uh, as now in the uh, Sport Commissions of China, National Sport Commission of China realize that they know it. Okay. So that is what everybody think about it. Oh, I have this jing. I can fly these people. I can take the strike. And then I have this chi inside there. Well, in the real life, like this is in the uh, Chen Village push hand tournament with uh, Mario Napoli, okay, who is in the east coast of United States. Just look at what happened. 
So this is Mario here. Okay. So that 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 is what it is. Okay. Have you ever see this? Of course, you don't see it. There is none of those in Chen Village push hand tournament in China. Okay. And uh, this is with the Tai Chi Lei Lei fighting Xi Xiao Dong. Do you see those those Jing stuff? You don't in a real fight, okay? Now, speaking on the this uh, Jing taking the body, the internal strength Jing and so forth. Well, I know how to play that thing too. There are different ways to do it. You see? Well, you can play this game. So I can get, uh, at that time, Jack is really nice to help me. Look at how Jack put his entire body weight on me. Okay. There is the play the strength, the strength playing the strength. It's like uh, in my uh, book, this is uh, the, 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 the basic Wing Chun Art and Sign, about six core elements. You look at it closely, you know, how you want to play the action reaction force. And of course, I can be able to play with you without even using hand, but using the body. Now, it, it is nice to, 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 to know how to handle that thing, right? But do you think I'm going to use it in my uh, Kyokshin sparring or Kyokshin open when I face this thing? Do you think I'm going to use those stuff? Sure. I know how to handle the strength. So I know how to handle my body. How the body... But in, in the open tournament, do you think I, I, I'm going to... you think your opponent let you do that in that... that uh, Delay, slow down everything so that you can play those kind of games. So, that's how much it worth for the Jing stuff. It's good to know, okay? That means you'll be able to handle your body better. You'll be able to handle your strength better. But it's not going to op work in the Pyokshin Open. I know it because I'm there, okay? And even like if you fight with Xi Xiao Dong, it's not going to work. So, there's a problem here on educations. So, in the Last video, I shared with you that in fighting, since a general Chi Chi Guang, now uh, those of you who don't know who is general Chi Chi Guang, please watch this video. Okay, so uh, th there's a movie, okay, God of War. It is pretty close to what the history is about on general Chi Chi Guang. Please watch it, okay? Now, so General Chi Chi Guang 
has said okay in his writing in his writing fighting is about momentum so this is a summarize for you on what journal chi chi guang presenting fighting is a dynamical playing the momentum game with distance, angle, and level changes. This is fighting. You can change from this type of fighting down to the ground, take down, down to the short strike, close body strike. It's a momentum change. Now, so uh, in general Chi Chi Guang time, you have all those different type of uh, momentum. Where there's long fist, short strike, ground fighting. Notice that it's a dynamically playing the momentum game with distance, angle, and level changes. Now, so for those who want to uh, who want to see what Exactly, Zen Chi Chi Guang said is uh, I have translated in my book. Now, uh, if you look into here, you see all the descriptions of the thirty-two momentum, okay, with different type of momentum, distance, level, change, and so forth. This is what the Chen Tai Chi took twenty-nine of the thirty-two to create the Chen Tai Chi. Now, uh, one thing I want to share with you. It is not that I am the grandmaster or anything. I know everything or so forth. It is not that. It is. The Chinese abandoned their classic Chinese language around 1920. Most people today, including in China, including the university, they do not know how to read the ancient Chinese. Okay. I went through decades to study with different teachers in martial arts, in, in, in Buddha's teaching, in Qigong, and so forth. Or to study the ancient Chinese uh, Buddha's Sutra or Sastra, it's just because I want to be able to understand what is going on. So I be able to translate this thing because I know what is the ancient is talking about. If you look at uh, many of the translations of Chi Chi Guang's writing, it will be Tai Chi say this, Tai Chi say that, even in university, <clears throat> because they don't know what is the classical the, 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 the Chinese is talking about, and they do not be able to track. Okay, this guy say this. Like, uh, if you want to track the general Chi Chi Guang, for example, you need to be able to track down to, say, uh, uh, this uh, writing from Yi Da Yu, another general, because Chi Chi Guang's uh, works have a part is uh, from Yi Da Yu, and also uh, he have a part of it is uh, from the uh, general, uh, the, the, the Tang Sun Zhi, okay, uh, General Tang Sun Zhi. Uh, Wu Pian. So we need to be able to track who do what. Okay? So that's the reason I I know all this thing clearly. Okay? No guessing. You know, not Hendrik's great guessing. You cannot afford guessing. You want to know what is going on. Even though I might not get 100% correct for everything, I can know that it is 80 percent at, la at, la at least because you have multiple source conversion there. So you know what, what is that going on? Okay. Now, 
Also, in here, I like to tell you, forget about those best fighter, best warrior stuff. Number one fighter, number one grandmaster stuff. Forget about this, okay? And uh, so, if you read this thing, this is in military General Chi Chi Guang's writing. There is no such thing as the 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 uh, the, the best fighter, best uh, Chinese kung fu uh, grandmaster like the Tai Chi guy say the Chan San Feng one guy be able to fight this. Forget about it. This is military. There's no such thing as the best fighter. This is not a sport. If it is a martial arts sport, you know, sport combat martial uh, combat sport, there's one thing you get a champion. At 1560, that is uh, General Chi Chi Guang have a, uh, this is an array, meaning you have an array of five people. Five of his, uh, his, 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 his army, his soldier, an array. When they met Japanese warrior, who is good in samurai sword, who is good in jujitsu, they send their array out. What does the array do? This is, by the way, this array is called Mandarin Duck Array. Mandarin Duck Array. This array is originated. Uh, created by uh, uh, General Tang Sun Zhi and then uh, General Chi Chi Guang uh, evolved, upgraded. So, the five men array will come in. Say you have a Japanese warrior, the best warrior, best in the samurai sword and best in, uh, in jiu-jitsu and so forth. They will come in with their different weapon, long weapon and short weapon, including firearm. They take you out. Okay, this is year fifteen sixty. That's why you never see a godlike uh, best fighter. There's no best fighter. They just ambush you, take you out. Sorry, it is not a combat sport. Okay. And so what Chi Chi Guang taught is a science. A science you be able to analyze your opponent. I'm not fighting combat sport with you to, 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 to go into the ring. But I want to know how you fight. Send in my array. Wipe it up. So you look at the General Chi Chi Guang's uh, battle records. The casualty rate is under 10% when he wiped his uh, opponent, uh, his uh, enemy clean. So there's a reality. There's no, I have the internal chi. chi. I'm the number one fighter. Of course, if you read this, you know his his army, his, his uh, General Chi Chi Guang army is going through really solid martial art training. And he won his, uh, he, his, his soldier who trained in martial art to test it out. But not, not get into those, I'm the best fighter. Because how much a best fighter worth? facing the Mandarin Duck Array. You look at the Japanese warrior. Gone. Okay. So you want to talk about in the real world, in the street? Sorry, it is not a combat sport. No. Personal experience? My father's Sifu died in an ambush in Indonesia. My Kyokshin senior classmates, younger brother, 
die in an ambush in Indonesia. This is in 1970. Both of them are great fighters. So that is the reality. Okay. Now, even though there's a reality, General Chi Chi Guang trained his army really solidly. They give them the signs. This book is about the signs. Now, so the other day I shared with you, you want to go fighting, the first thing you need to know is it is a momentum game of changing the the, uh, the, 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 the distance, the angle, and the level. Now, you need power to support that momentum. You need power to support your momentum. How can I KO anybody? How can you KO anybody if you don't have the power? Under the power, you need the strength. Okay? <clears throat> the strength. But under the strength, you need the movement. Very fluent with your movement. So, for example, if you engage in, say, a fight, in the very, uh, you need the momentum. Well, you need the momentum, you need the power to support your momentum. <clears throat> and power is how rapid you can exert your strength. And then you need the strength. And for the strength, you need the movement to support the strength. For example, the strength in this ground is very different than the strength you play in here when you fight. It's very different than the strength you, you, you play here and here. So, basic human Basic human movement. You have what? Push, pull, squat, ground, playing the ground, like tumbling, like crawling. That is the movement. So you need, you want to fight this way, like the general Chi Ji Kuang 460 years ago, you want to fight this way, you better have all your movement brain, you better to have your strength in different type of uh, distant angle and level change strength. And then you better be able to develop the power for your rapid exertion of your strength. And with that supporting your momentum, which is your body mass with a uh, very high speed. So, again, momentum, power, strength, movement. Now, when I wrote Restricting Wing Chun, inside there, I'm talking about momentum. Momentum, recycling momentum. I'm talking about power. The power, okay? I'm talking different type of strength. And I do talk about, I, I do show in Wing Chun 1850, you have different type of movement. Your standing up movement, your kicking movement, your going down. 
movement. You're going down to the ground movement. You want to fight as a martial art, you have to have all those movement proficiency. Or else, how are you going to implement all this thing? Like in the general Chi Chi Kuang? How are you going to implement all this thing? How are you going to implement that? So, you want to tell me about Jing? Internal Jing? So, my question is just this. Where does your internal Jing is applicable here? So if you say, well, my internal gene is good as this, like I share with you. You know, this is my internal gene. You see, my body can take this. Okay? My body can take this. This is my internal gene. So which type of thing is there belong to when I have a real fight here? Which time? And that's why I said in any kyokshin sparring and uh, open tournament, you are not going to use those things. Okay? So, that's how much it worth for the jing. That's how much it worth. You can see people this day demonstration this and that. But when you get into the real fight, which is a momentum, you, you need the power. You need to have your basic uh, human movement because it's going to go changing angle, changing distance, changing level. How much that jing is useful? You can need to ask that question. See, I don't deny that <clears throat> the Tai Chi have their way of training their internal Jing or Nei Jing. The Wing Chun 1850 have their way of training their Nei Jing. So it's in this book, this is the, the Jing of, uh, of Wing Chun 1850. This is how the Jing flow. It is not Taiji. Taiji way of training usually is they losing they are losing their body from top to down. They loose up their body and then <clears throat> they will feel <clears throat> like pressure in their lower abs because they are losing losing it, and then uh, their arm will feel like uh, it uh, have a hydraulic pressure or electric city feeling or inflammation feeling and so forth. And then they just use that to, to develop their pushing, like a water pushing them and all sort of stuff. That's how the Tai Chi developed that. Okay, if you look at that, Wing Chun don't do that. Wing Chun do a different way of Jing. But if I just sat standing there, practice the Jing as well I shared with you just now, with Jack standing there, taking my body, be able to take that. How is it applicable in the real fight? How is it applicable? Well, again, I do not deny. I do not deny that uh, the Jing exists and uh, you can be good at it. And also, uh, 
for the people, the common people who have no idea what it is, you can say, well, I go fudging and you fly. But when you face somebody like Mario, like Mario here, okay, with the moment, movement, momentum handling, and so forth, Xi Xiao Tong here, okay, or in the Kyokshin here. What is the usage? So if you tell me that the Jing, the Fa Jing, uh, all this thing is the ultimate of the martial art, you know it is not since 460 years ago in the time of Chi Chi Kuang. Time to wake up. And you get into the Wing Chun, you say have to have this structure and all this thing. The most you can do is this far. Yeah. Can you go this far with your structure and so forth? But uh what is the what is the purpose? What is the point? What is the point? You don't look at, you don't see the momentum, you don't see the power, you, you just say this jing, and then uh, you don't know about this body, body movement. You just a really narrow thing there on, on, on what in, in martial arts. So that's why I critics the Wing Chun three sets, which is developed in 1870. You got a big problem, sir. And that's why I critic that they don't know what is going on of the 1850. They just putting together to, 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 to start the Wing Chun 1870, the, the, the Qing uh, Red Boat Wing Chun. And then it comes up to today. So, so I, I just can prove to you easily with your three sets, if, with your pr practice of three sets. Tell me how many movements you can handle over here. You practice your Xiu Lim Tao Cham Kyu Biu Ji, you say have internal everything. How many movements you can handle here? If you face General Chi Chi Kuang's army 460 years ago, with your standing in the structure in Xiu Lim Tao, you know you cannot play. With the Cham Q set of your weight always behind, putting behind, you know you cannot play. <clears throat> with your Biu Ji sets, it's only range in this area you know you cannot play here. That's why when you met the BJJ friend or wrestling friend, you're going down. You met a Western boxing friend, you're gone too. Because what? Your movement. Your set design movement. This is the Bong Sao or Guan Sao in, 18, uh, in 1560. Chi Chi Guang. This is Chi Chi Guang, not mine. You look at how the body changed. And yet your Xiu Lim Tao set three set of them. Uh, your Xiu Lim Tao Cham Kyu Beauty do not have anything which power all this. This one Guan Sao of a general Chi Chi Kuang. How are you going to fight? This is a war, man. Can you analyze what is going on here? Or you just want to live wherever you are. Oh, you get a guy, a Fa Jing, internal Jing, and this Jing. See, I don't discount that the Tai Chi people do have their process of training their, 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 their Jing, their, what they call the internal Jing. You relax all your body until your 
uh, low abs feel uh, uh, heavy, you call that sing chi to dan tian or whatever, and then you you feel that your your electric or your uh, have a hydro pressure in your hand, and then you say there's a nai chi, and then you start to do all those uh, your your handling, and then you develop that chi. I uh, that nai jing or internal jing. I do not discount that. That is a, a process, a very good process for develops certain type of strength. Nei mean internal and uh, jing mean strength. So when people have that, I do not deny that it's a very good process for develop that type of strength. But man, not even facing whatever today in the ring, you're just facing General Chi Chi Kuang. You're just facing General Chi Chi Kuang. How are you going to face it? You can because you are too narrow. Not to mention, not to mention today, everybody talk about you do your sets, like in the Wing Chun, your Xiu Lim Tao Chan Kyu Biu Ji, then somebody said, well, there's an internal and everything, everything. Even in the Tai Chi people. But, but wait a minute, do you have this training? Do you have this training? Is there a nurture Chi training, a fitness training, or a martial art training? Where today, we can actually verify with the spot signs, with data. Do, you, do your body condition that way? Like you want to talk about chi, your HRV, your, your breathing rate, and so forth, so forth. So again, how are you going to fight this? You can. And, and as Chi Chi Kuang said <clears throat> 460 years ago, You have to keep learning and keep expanding your experience in the fighting arts. 1560 until today, 2023, almost 2024, you know how many things have expanded? Just look, look into the MMA. No, so it is uh, just a combat sport. You look at the Thai boxing, yes, it's a combat sport, but how many things it has already evolved since 1560? New way of handling things, new way of fighting, new way of handling momentum and so forth. So, so if, if one don't even have the basic understanding of what is going on, okay, Oh, by the way, you know, all this is uh, in my book, Decoding Wing Chun. If, if you live still living in this, this marketing, like, oh, Chan San Fong is the founder of Tai Chi, Tai Chi Ming Ultimate, Tai Chi have this internal Jing and internal Qi, all sort of stuff. How are you going to face the Qi Qi Guang Army Fong? 60 years ago and today's fighting arts. Even just a sport, you cannot. Why? Because you, you are limited yourself, you are incomplete. You're just talking about strength, you don't even about momentum. Like over here, General Chi Chi Guang have a 32 momentum strategy or momentum setup. They're setting you up. Okay? It is a setup. Like this is a setup. Like this is a setup. Going down, going down, going up, coming up, go close. It is a setup. It is a combination setup. Nobody will go doing this. Okay. If I don't know the setup, 
And even though I can do this, even though I can do this, if I don't know the setup, I'll get KO in seconds, right? Not to mention that I need to know, hey man, it is a momentum play. Okay? So you want to talk about Neijing, that's how much it worth. I don't discount. I really don't discount that uh, there are some good process in, tai, in Taiji training, their they are, they are Neijing, internal Jing, their specialty uniqueness of the Taiji way of training their Jing. But, sorry, in fighting, it doesn't cover the entire fighting. It's just a very narrow stripes of thing. With a guy who don't know about fighting, he, he works like a student and for demo. You're facing General Chi Chi Gong's army 460 years ago, not even today. You can't take it. Okay, there's a reality. Now, again, on this internal stuff, now be it in Taiji, in Wing Chun, people talk about the uh, the uh, Qi, using their body Qi. But, uh, Sorry, they don't even, most of them don't even have the very basic. So this is called, uh, this is in the Taoist book, uh, The Secret of Golden Flower. Heart and breath uh, mutually dependent. Okay. Should one not breathe, one cannot do without breathing. Since heart and breath are mutually dependent. You just look at all those Tai Chi guy and Wing Chun guy. How many of them know what is the breathing? If you want to talk about really Qi, you have to get into the state of heart and mind mutually dependent. It's called Xing Xi Xiang Yi. It doesn't matter you are Buddhist or you are Taoist. You want to talk about that Qi stuff, you better have get to the state of Xing Xi Xiang Yi your heart and your breathing synchronize. In the Buddhist, there's a term called what? Enter into Samadhi. In the Taoist, you need to enter into the Samadhi to deal with your Qi. How many of your whatever internal today talk about Xing Xi Xiang Yi? Okay. You want to talk about Qi Gong? So there's number one thing that what today people talk about qi and then uh, Taoist philosophy, Lao Zhi, Tao De Qing, is all their interpretation. They don't even know what is going on inside there. Not to mention, you have different type of breathing in your qi, nourishing, your fitness training, and your strengthening training. And even at fighting, the breathing is no longer natural. It is not natural at all. So you cannot do your Tai Chi solo type of breathing. Because at fighting, it is the performance matter. At fighting, the performance matter. It is no longer the Qi. Actually, it is damaging in fighting when you use the way how you use the breathing. Okay. So people talk about Xing Qi to Tan Tian today. Everybody have their opinion on Xing Qi Tan Tian. Just now I, I share with you when somebody say what well, they stand there slow, song, no loose, like Tai Chi people say, and then they have their uh, feeling pressure in their lower abs and so forth. That is not Xing Qi to Tan Tian. That's called what? Qi Ya Tan Tian. Pressurize your Tan Tian. That's not Xing Qi to Tan Tian. Xing Qi to Tan Tian is you need first to develop the natural, rhythmically breathing, like uh, what it was uh, mentioned here in this book. In the 
secret of golden flower book. Okay, the secret of golden flower book. You have to have the read, rhythmically, natural rhythmically breathing, which is your natural lower abs breathing. You have to have their breathing. And then your mind or your heart and your breathing, mutual dependent. Okay. And then at that time, it be able, the chi, the energy be able to sing to your lower abs. Tan Tian. Why is called Tan Tian? Tian is fuel. Tan is like the uh, elixir, okay? Like something wonderful. So why, why is this called Tan Tian? Why you want to uh, put your mind and uh, your heart and your breath uh, mutual uh, dependent here? Well, because if you put your, uh, your awareness here, mind and your breathing uh, uh, dependent here, xin xi xiang yi here, <clears throat> what happens is that your temperature in this part, your body temperature in this part will raise. When this temperature part raising, it will influence your stomach temperature going up and influence your heart. That is how the Chinese medicines of helping the digestion system, helping the heart system. So people have a digesting problem like stomach problem or heart problem because they sing qi to tan tian. Okay, so their mind and their breathing mutual dependent over here. And uh, that caused their uh, the, the, the body temperature to raise up, raise up the temperature in their stomach, raise up the temperature in your, uh, in your cardio here, raise up of temperature, meaning helping your blood circulation, so your energy circulation. That's why this is called the field of elixir, the field or the field actually the field to grow your internal organ to help your internal organs, is from this, the 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 uh, the, the, the temperature change, and uh, it influences your internal organ. This is very general. There is Xin Qi to Dan Tian. How many, how many people today who talk about qi gong, <clears throat> talk about this uh, internal qi have uh, experienced that? Or even just know about it? Obviously, you look around, all those people who talk about qi internal is just having this, they say, well, nei, nei jing, uh, internal strength, like I just shared with you, very very tiny type of stuff, very, very narrow type of stuff, and then uh, mix it up with, uh, with all kinds of philosophy, but they don't even know how the world is the real Akemi works. And of course, another thing of Xing Qi Dan Tian is because you know the rhythmic breathing here with your, uh, with your uh, diaphragm and your lower uh, your, your, your pelvic floor muscle synchronizations, you'll be able to handle your intra-abdominal pressure for, 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 for zoom up your body, handling your momentum, meaning handling your core. That is the Xing Qi of Tian stuff, the basic stuff. Well, look around. How many people talk about Tai Chi internal Wing Chun internal Qi Gong have that. That's the reality. So it is a marketing 100 years ago. People took that superficial stuff and then add into whatever they believe, whatever they think. Uh, whatever they can read in the, uh, uh, in the ancient Taoist book and then with their interpretation, they're keeping adding to it. But until today, nobody knows what is it. 
That's why this is the number one important thing of Chinese Kung Fu. A few weeks ago, many seafoods in Asia have a Zoom with me. And then asking me a question. So Hendrik, what is the reference if we want to reform Chinese Kung Fu? I said, this is the reference using General Chi Chi Kuang's. He's in the battlefield. He fought, he trained. <clears throat> Using that as the reference, not any grandmaster. There are plenty of classic there. Okay. So, hopefully what I share with you clear thing up for you today. This is a very important book. Because you have the six core element and 13 state. With this, you'll be able to analyze as what I share with you just now, how to how to look into or oh, this is a movement, it is this and that, it's a body, physical, mind, and all this kind of thing. If you don't have the six core element basic, this if will say, Oh, you're standing there and you lose. And then after you lose up, and then uh, you do this and that. But can you really do it? Is your physical prepare? Is your mind using the mind function, the proper mind function, using the proper breathing? You don't know. That's why right now you can see in Chinese Kung Fu, a, a, a grandmaster will not have any uh, student which is surpass him. Every generation is only get watered down, watered down, and, and at, at the end, everybody have their whatever they say, their way. So this is what I like to share with you today. Think about it. Don't take me as, as true. Think about it. What I'm saying, is that true or not? 